33% of y'all said that he's from Marvel and 67% said he's from DC. So let's look and see. Because the world has been unraveled and built again, he must realize that yet he is here on the remains of a parallel world. A world once ruled by the crime syndicate. Before they escaped him, he was preparing to follow them and to attack again. The Justice League's universe and consume. He is called the Anti-Monitor, though I know him by another name. Hello, Morbius. Anti-Monitor said, do not call me that Metron. Do not speak that name to me. You prefer I address you as the Anti-Monitor? I prefer you not address me at all. <laughs> As long as I sit on this chair, your antimatter cannot affect me. I know. I sat on that chair long before you. Then why do you try to destroy it every time we converse? Because that is what I do, Metron. Your penance? My curse. My destiny. My reason. It no longer matters as you are the witness and I am the destroyer. Is that not what you claim when you took that chair? Yes, you destroy universes, universes that are reborn. You have done this countless times, Morbius, and you plan again, don't you? Reality cannot survive another crisis. I am not going to destroy reality, Metron. You've already begun. You've savaged the crime syndicate's world and consumed its power, crackling open the multiverse for others to exploit. I see a convergence of timelines and universe exposed. Even now, Brainiac, he is attempting to collect knowledge as you do, that is all. But if the reality is being taken apart, Brainiac will do nothing. He will find nothing. He does not know of the truth. He does not know me. My pain, my sufferings, my penance, your regret. I have a pact to present. One between you and myself. If you halt your attack on Earth in your efforts to destroy it, I will cease my observations. I will put all of my power into finding a way to change you back into what you once were or who you once were. I will help save you from your damnation, Mobius. You do not have that power, but I know someone who does. I can escape this endless cycle. I refuse to simply be a destroyer any longer. I have found a way. If you seek this path, if you seek to once again undo all of reality, I have foreseen the wrath of Darkseid will fall upon you. Darkseid, huh? As he put that mask on. I won a war with Darkseid. Darkseid's death is the key to it all. You will bear witness. The age of the new gods is about to end. And the age of the anti-god will begin. Yes, Mobius, death to my father. <laughs> death to Darkseid. And this guy continued in Divergence on Free Comic Book Day. And in here, Batman is dead when he went to go fight Joker. So you know who takes up the mantle? Commissioner Gordon, as he put the bat suit on. But after defeating Hercules and his butcher and army at the cost of many lives, Hippolyta, the high whatever her fucking name is, led us into seclusion to a hidden island called Themyscira. It was paradise, or it happened to be. To this day, I still wonder, did Hippolyta abandon this world trying to protect us or trying to protect her child to be as you see her having birth to uh, Wonder, Wonder Woman, right? But at that same moment, Marina, um, the Amazon assassin, slayer to Echidna and tamer of Griffin, she was having her baby too. And when she had her, they looked at her like, what the fuck? She was like, what, what's wrong with my child? The daughter of Darkseid was born, Grail. At that same moment, this Amazon woman, Manila Pia, whatever her name is, started to have a vision. She said, I smell the scent of ash within the baby's breath. I can see again the, the daughter of dark, uh, the dark god. One day she will seek out her father and she will start a war. A war between the dark god and the anti-god as you see Darkseid and the anti-monitor fighting. She says, I see a man who will make a horrific sacrifice. I see a new god born. I see hope lost. I see a king drown. I see science and magic die. I see the man who always escapes caught. And at the center of it all, I see an Amazon. Back in the world carrying on the mission the gods gave us. It's Hippolyta's daughter. But if this child lives, Diana and her friends will suffer. If this child lives, the world will be consumed by a great dark. We have no choice. Shh! No! I won't let you hurt her. She is a blight from the dark god, Marina. Nothing can stop her. Nothing can stop her. Nothing can stop her. The shadows will swallow us and it will change. Malapie's prophecies are always true. She saw Hercules. She saw this island. She saw the births. We cannot risk this war happening too. I want it to happen. She kicked the girl off the damn leg. 
<sighs> Diana, Brock, Hal, Scott, Victor, Barry, Brada, Clark, Jason, Arthur, Jessica, Billy, Lex, they will hurt. What are you waiting for? Help me up. I am sorry, Penelope. You aren't part of my plan. If this child survives, there will be destruction beyond it. If your baby lives, Marina, this world will die. This universe will die. You see Superman getting fucking erased from existence. Morbius! And the anti-god will be reborn. All because of Darkseid's daughter. Her name will be Grail. Her mom grabs the girl neck. And my daughter will bring this universe salvation. After that, I fled. On my way to the water, I saw Hippolyta. But she did not see me. I took the bodies of Penelope and Manette when Malapa with me to the shore and put them in the boat. It would look as like the three of us were lost to the storm. I was the first Amazon to ever leave Themyscira. Today, I will do anything to protect my child. I will kill anyone for her, no matter what kind of monster she's become. As you see her saying, death to dark side. Our mission is underway. And that's who Grail is.